I need to know the size of this tree. It's not procrastination, it's important. I don't know World Anvil well enough for this. I love your optimism. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the first writing vlog on this channel for a uh, very long time. It is April 1st, camp started today, I have not yet written, it is about uh, 7.50 in the evening, and uh, yeah, it's time to start writing. My goal for Camp April is to finish Rug, the second draft of Rug. I do not yet know how many words that's going to be, so that's one of the first things I'm going to try to figure out. But yeah, it's quite an ambitious goal, I will say. Um, I have not written a lot lately, and I am a little bit scared that I am throwing myself into this with too little preparation. But yeah, it'll be fine, hopefully. And if not, I will just revise my goal, that's fine. But I have got tea in my typewriter teapot, I have a NaNoWriMo mug, I have a little bit of snacks, and uh, I am uh, ready to get started. Let's go! So I ended up putting the goal for this month at uh, 75,000 words, which is a lot of words, but this is the second draft, which means that a lot of this is actually going to be retyping the first draft. And that's a lot faster than, you know, typing the words for the first time. So I think it's fine. I only got 1,922 words this session. I was supposed to get um, two and a half thousand words. So I'm already behind, but that's fine. I did spend a lot of this session trying to figure out the size of a tree. <laughs> it makes sense. I need to know the size of this tree. So this is the world tree. This is like the, the big, important, religious thing. And I was writing a scene where they actually go to this tree and then I, I needed to know how big it was because, you know, how else would I describe it? And so I started out describing it and I was like, the canopy was a green cloud and they'd been seeing it for days. And I was like, does that make sense? How big would the tree have to be for that to make sense? And I started looking and I started looking at pictures of of oak trees, because this is an oak tree, like, yeah. So I picked out a picture which I was like, okay, this will give me an image of how, like, the proportions of the tree. But still, how tall can it be? And I looked at the tallest tree in the world, it's apparently, what is it, 115 meters or something like that, which is pretty tall, but, you know, this tree needs to be much, much taller than that, because it's a magical tree. There's a god that lives there. So uh, I talked a little to Matilda and she suggested I look at the Eiffel Tower. How big is that? Because that's a, a big thing. And when we were in Paris a few years ago, we saw the Eiffel Tower and we aimed at it and we're going to go there and we never got there. It never got bigger. So we're pretty convinced that the Eiffel Tower is actually a hoax. It doesn't exist. But anyway... <laughs> So I looked at that, it's 330 meters tall, and I was like, yeah, that's, that's pretty tall. That's taller than any, any tree that we have, so maybe I can use that. And then I went to Google Maps and their street view, and I was like, how far away can I see the Eiffel Tower? And I ended up finding a place where the Eiffel Tower was about two and a half kilometers away, and it was puny. It was so tiny, it was like... And yes, it wasn't like a straight line and there were cars and buildings and stuff, but still, it was... That was not impressive enough. <laughs> so, me and Matilda looked at it and decided that, well, make it about twice as tall. So, now this tree is um, 700 meters tall, about a kilometer wide in the canopy, um, which I uh, think is pretty impressive. It wasn't what I described, though. I think what I described in the text was a tree that would probably have to be tens, maybe a hundred kilometers tall. Um, 
which would not really have worked. Yeah, it would just not have been great. So I had to adjust that. So yeah, that took up a lot of the, the time that I spent on this. So that's why I didn't get as many words as I should have on the first day. But it's fine. Again, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that I can... I just remembered that the... <laughs> The manuscript I have, the first draft that I have, is 45,000 words, I think. Which means, yes, that's 45,000 words roughly that I'm going to retype. But it still means doing that and writing about 30,000 new words. Probably more than 30,000 new words because there are some scenes that I'm not actually going to use. So that's still pretty ambitious for a month, but I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. I'm gonna go to bed now. See you tomorrow. Okay, so it's Saturday. It is April 2nd and I have written today. I've written a little over 2,000 words, which is less than I should, but it's still good. And I get stuck with world building, but I feel like it's important, or at least I feel like it's fun. So yesterday, uh, as you may remember, because it was just a couple of minutes ago maybe, um, I figured out uh, the size of the world tree, and that's good. And then today, I kept writing, I kept mostly retyping things that I'd already written before from the first draft, and then I realized that I wasn't entirely certain when things were happening in relation to other things, so I needed to do a timeline. And so I started making a timeline in, um, in World Anvil and then I realized I needed a calendar for this timeline to work. And then I made a calendar and then I needed to figure out the days of the, 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 the names of the days because that's important. And... <laughs> I, don't know, I was just going to go with, you know, our normal calendar. I wasn't going to complicate things. And I'm still going to do the same thing, like seven days and weeks and months and the years being the same length as ours and all of that. But World Anvil prompted me to try to figure out names for the days, like I said. And so I, I had to do that. And... <laughs> I started out doing it sort of similarly to how I have created the names for uh, the runes of this world and the deities and a bunch of other things, which is where I have taken one or two words related to um, what the rune means or what the deity, what their area is, so to speak. And then I've taken it through Google Translate and I've used the Swedish, the Finnish, the Gaelic and the Icelandic words, and I've sort of mashed them together. And I figured I could do something similar with the days. And so I, I started out going with, okay, Monday, that's the moon. What is moon in all these languages? And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday doesn't really work because those are named after ancient Nordic gods. And yeah, that wouldn't happen. But Saturday is is um, washing day. <laughs> That's where that name, the Swedish name for Saturday comes from. And then Sunday is, of course, sun. And so I started with that. And then I was like, no, but maybe moon and sun. What about stars and uh, earth and mountains and so on? And I started doing that. And then I was like, but also sun and earth, and I did forest, those are some of the things that the days of the week in Japanese is named after. And so why not use that? <laughs> so then I have used the um, Japanese names for the, the days of the week and taking the meaning from there, where the Monday is 
the sun in Japanese as well. Tuesday is fire, Wednesday is water, Thursday is forest or trees, uh, Friday is metal or gold, um, Saturday is earth, and Sunday is sun. And I have taken those words and put them through Google Translate and then I realized that I'm spending a lot of time on this when I should maybe actually be spending that time writing. But I need to make that timeline, and in order to make the timeline, I need to make a calendar. And in order to make a calendar, I totally need to know the names of the day. And then, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. <laughs> but like I said, I have written about 2,000 words, roughly. I've written a little bit more today than I, I did yesterday. I am gonna go to bed soon, but I'm gonna be writing more tomorrow, so it's fine that I spend the rest of the writing time I have today figuring out the names of the days of the week, because it's not procrastination, it's important. See you tomorrow! <laughs>
I wrote uh, a little over 3,000 words um, in the first sort of session, and that was retyping stuff that I had written before, and it was a very exciting scene, so, you know, it went pretty quickly. Uh, but after that, I had about 400 words left to be on par, and I wasn't sure where to go, because I'd sort of gotten to the point in the first uh, draft where I started skipping a little bit and just writing this scene and time skipping and assuming things had happened before that I hadn't written had happened before and things like that. So yeah, I, I needed to I needed to figure that out. So I decided to just start writing in a separate document, some brainstorming and like where am I at? Where do I need to go? And so on. And um, one of the things I did was try to figure out how much I actually have left of the story. Where am I in the story? I usually don't work with like beat sheets and story structure things. I tend to plot and write on instinct. And then if something is off or weird, I might look at one of those um, plotting methods, beat sheet things, save the cat and so on, um, to figure out what's going on. And in this one, I decided that I needed to, I needed a little bit of help to figure out what was going on. So I did look at save the cat, which this story doesn't follow exactly, obviously, but it's, it's, uh, fairly consistent with save the cat. I now have 13,000 words in the story, not written during camp, but I have written 13,000 words of the second draft of the story. And uh, we are roughly at where the, the B plot, is that what it's called? Where that happens in Save the Cat, which is supposed to be around the 20% mark. So judging by that, the entire story is going to be roughly 65,000 words, not 75,000, as I had set as my goal, so I might I might adjust that actually. And that helped me figure out between where I am right now and the midpoint, basically, the, the, the big thing that I know is going to be the midpoint. How many words, roughly, again, uh, is that going to be? And how much do I think I can fit into that? And what do I need to fit in? And yeah, it just helped me helped me think about that a little bit. And I think I figured it out. I wrote about 600 words, um, brainstorming and figuring that out and, and mini plotting a little bit. And I am pretty happy with that. So tomorrow I should be able to start uh, actually writing that. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. So I did not get distracted by any more world building um, today. And the thing is, I it helps that I'm writing this draft in World Anvil, in their manuscript feature, because that way, whenever I come up with a new concept or a new thing that needs to be world built, I can just very quickly create a little article about it and write down what I have. And then later I can come back and fill that article out and world build more. Um, and or I can go back to it if I use that thing again, if I write about that thing again, I can go back and add more things, uh, more information in that same article. And that way I can keep everything in one place, which is, which is very nice. So three days into Camp April, I have written uh, 7,723 words. And that is potentially more than I wrote all of March. Not quite, I don't think, but it's it's probably pretty close. I feel really good about that. I, I want to say that I feel really good to be writing again. I think this vlogging is helping because some accountability and I feel at a, a better stage in my life, in my mental health than I did when I stopped vlogging before. And I feel like this is actually helping for now, at least. Maybe it'll stop helping and then I'll just stop doing it. But for now... I'm gonna continue for the rest of the month. So stay tuned for that and uh, let me know how you're doing in camp, if you're doing camp, in the comments below. Thank you for watching, be safe, I will see you next time.
What's your suggestion? Just never use that day <laughs> in the story. You can have a seven day week, but they never plan things for Mondays, they never do things on Mondays, they never mention Mondays. Just never, I accidentally, just never use it. I help. Yes, you do. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>